you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank God for you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on in. Come on in. Glory to God. Thank God for each and every one of you. Come on in. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on in. As you come on, please like and share. Hallelujah. Thank God for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for you. Amen. Thank God for you. Amen. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Appreciate you all coming on in. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's storming up this way. It's, it's, it's storming. It's storming. Hallelujah. But God is still good. And I thank God for being present. Hallelujah. God for being here with us. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. Oh, come on in, everybody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We give God praise and glory. Hallelujah. He's worthy of all praise. He's worthy of all honor. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. Glory to you. Please like and share as you come on. Y'all know the drill. Come on on. Like and share. Please like and share. Come on in. Come on in as we are going forward today. Amen. Help us spread the gospel. Help us spread the good news. Hallelujah. We give God praise. We give God glory. We give God honor. honor. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come on, let's get a little worship as we start today. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. Lord, we thank you that the words of my mouth the meditation of my heart. Lord, we thank you that it's acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, our strength and our redeemer. We thank you, Lord, that your word will, will impact today. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. Come on in. Come on. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in, saints of God. Hallelujah. God bless all of you that's coming on today. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Come on on. Hallelujah. Thank God for you. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. For everyone that's coming on right now, thank God for you. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe God is just... Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. I believe the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. I believe the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. I believe the word of the Lord. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise be to the most high God. All to the risen King. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We give God praise. Ah, we serve a mighty God. We serve a true and living God. Hallelujah. All power. All power. All power was in his hand. Truly he can do. Hallelujah. He can do all things. Oh, he made us. He knows all about us. He knows every situation. He knows every circumstance. That's the God we serve. That's the God we serve. We serve that kind of God. Hallelujah. Hey, Dr. J, how you doing? Hallelujah. God bless you, Dr. J. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. Thank God for Dr. J and all those that are on. I think I saw Sister Terica Yarborough. I think I saw her on. And everyone that would be coming on, all the Artesian family and all the families, amen, that will come on tonight and may those that will come on later. We thank God for each and every one of you and praise God for you. God is a good God, and we just appreciate him. Amen. 
appreciate him for his goodness. Appreciate him for his many blessings. And we just thank God. Tonight is Tuesday night. This is our um, regular Bible study that um, we are here at 7 or as close to seven as we can get. Amen. And we just thank God for you all that's joining us. And again, I ask that you please like and share and help us um, get the word out that um, Artesian Christian Center Bible study is on. I know there's a lot of different places. A lot of people have Bible study on Tuesday night. Hallelujah. But we're just falling in line and doing what we're supposed to do and how we're supposed to do it. Amen. We, so we just thank God for that. And for some reason, I got my, my glasses are a little shady. But we just praise God for everybody. Hallelujah. We've been having um, up here in Albany, Georgia, there have been a few little intermittent storms that's been that's been coming on and, uh, and around. And um, uh, well, we thank God he's brought us through that little storm and a little rain. We thank God for it. Amen. The rain has its place. It's the whole reason for it all. And so I thank God for it. We, this is a big farming area. So we have um, a lot of, um, you know, people that need the rain. And so we do thank God for the rain when it comes. And we thank God for um, how he is there for us. Amen. And um, so tonight we're, to, we're continuing on with our good. Hey, Sister Stephanie. God bless you. Amen. Sister Stephanie is on. Amen. I tell you. Amen. And we just thank God for those of you um, who are positioned with your Bible in your hand tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're getting into the Word of God. And tonight, you know, we're on the series, The Benefit of Study and Knowing the Truth. And um, the couple of uh, Tuesdays, we were dealing with wisdom. And... Um, and tonight we're going to be dealing with uh, continuing on with uh, the word vision. We last week we dealt with vision, and we'll be com uh, going on tonight with vision. Okay, we'll be talking about vision, 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 and 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 you know. Um, I've been, I was thinking about this thing, about this word, vision, what it means, the secular meaning, or what it does it mean when you look at the secular meaning of vision. Last week we used, um, we talked about uh, from Jesus, I think it was um, Mark, it was in Mark, those who remember last week's Bible study, we talked about uh, uh the man who in Jesus prayed for him, and he said, I see men as trees walking. That was Mark, the eighth chapter. And you know, it, and it preceded that when Jesus was talking. I'm um, just summarizing, just from bringing you up to date for where we're going to be tonight. But um, on last week, we talked about how Jesus was saying to his disciples, he said, now, uh, they were with him when he fed the 5,000, and they were with him when he fed the 4,000, right? And he told them, you know, because when he had made the statement, this is what he did in the 8th chapter. I'm just summarizing from last week. And he said in the statement, he said, now listen. He said, beware of the leaven of the Pharisee and of Herod. And Jesus was talking. And Jesus in so many ways always a lot of times talked in in parable uh, 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 uh kind of ways he talked it with, with parables as such and you know we, the way jesus would speak and it always sometimes would confound the disciples and he was like what is he talking about but you know that's how jesus did but then jesus said and then they began then the disciples began to argue among themselves because they thought jesus was actually talking about they hadn't bought bread and you know and be careful when you buy actual bread but Jesus was talking deeper than that. Of course, he meant the 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 don't you know the the don't be taken on the teaching of the Pharisees and the things of what and the and of Herod and what way, going down that road. But the disciples began to argue each other, talking about bread. And then Jesus mentioned to them. He said, "Wait a minute, weren't you with me when I fed five thousand and with two fish and five loaves of bread?" 
And with those two fish and five bowls of bread, you took up 12 baskets of leftovers. Okay? Did you see that? Weren't you there when I did that? And then he said, when I uh, fed the 4,000. That's 9,000 people all together. He said, when I fed the 4,000, you said, how many baskets of leftovers did you get with them? And they said, seven. He said, don't you see yet? See, don't you understand yet? Do you not know who you're with yet? You know, this is, this is, this is, this is um, Jesus and his disciples and him giving them like, wake up. You up there arguing over bread and don't you see that I am the bread of life? Don't you, don't you get it yet that you, you, you're with me. There's no need to argue over bread. Because I am the bread of life. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about the natural bread. But even if it's natural bread, I'm the multiplier of bread. Don't you get it? You said, you, he told them, he said, you, this is in Mark 8. He said, you got eyes and you can't see. Ears can't, can't see. You can't hear. You, you, can, don't, you don't have an understanding. Don't you understand anything yet? This is Jesus talking because you're with me. You see what I do, right? You can, don't you, or at least you think you see, or what you think you see, you don't see. And what you see, you're not interpreting properly, okay? You don't have, you. your perception is way off. You know, people who wear glasses, I have these reading glasses. It makes it easier for me. Uh, I don't wear glasses as a, uh, a medical condition, but I do wear them to sort of help me. It seems like the older I get dealing with small writing, it helps me to magnify. These are magnifiers. These reading glasses are magnifiers, and they help me uh, not strain my eyes. It helps me to um, read the words on the page so much better, right? And so... Um, and so, but those of you who have glasses and, and I mean, as a medical, uh, uh, you know, where you've gone to an optometrist or whatever, uh, uh, and you've gotten glasses and there are some people that have this thing called death perception. They're not able to judge, um, you know, they're where they are. Some people have what they call night vision issues where they can't see at night, you know, because it, things don't seem, they seem to be coming, you know. Vision is a, is a big thing physically, even in the physical vision. Uh, if your vision is impaired in the natural, it presents a whole problem, right? You know, uh, not being able to read this little, this little small writing and then you're trying to see what that little small writing say. And if you misread that little small writing, it could be a big deal, especially if it's saying do or don't do something or how many to take and you misread that. If you're looking at the thing and it says three, but you see that, it, but it's actually an eight or it's actually an uh, 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 eight, uh, uh, it's three and you're reading eight. It's three, but you're reading eight because you can't hardly see it. That could be a major problem. So being able to see clearly does matter, right? You you know, those of you all who've been, uh, who've, dr who drive and you especially do morning driving or evening driving have ever uh, come up over a hill or around a corner and that sun just pops out and it's bold and it's bright and it just blind, give you that, that momentary blindness because it's just right there. If anybody ever had that experience, that's a an experience when you get into a place where you don't see anything. It's just so glaring. That natural, uh, being able to see in the natural is like, awfully important, right? So we know all what that means, having the vision, the correct vision, and being able to see. So we move that thing to into a spiritual realm. Uh, as we talk in this, doing this Bible study uh, about what it means to really, the vision uh, of being able to see and have vision for uh, seeing how God wants us to see, having a vision of, of looking forward to something, all right? And so I'm, it's a few, um, it, it, there's a few, I want you to have um, an understanding of what it means for, from a dictionary perspective, the definition of vision um, from a from a, a perspective, and uh, it's the ability to see. Vision is the ability to see. 
Then there's another part, part that says a picture that you have in your mind. Like people who do like vision boards and different things like that, you draw a picture in your mind, uh, your imagination. This, that's Miriam Webster's dictionary. Um, vision, the definition of vision. Um, and one of the things that I want you all to keep in mind as we walk through this Bible study and as we and as we move forward with this, one of the things I want you to keep in mind that God wants us to grow and to mature. We shouldn't be in the same place. Um, you've since you've started this walk with God, you shouldn't be you know in the same place you were when you first started. If you you want to be continually growing, you want to be continually building. You want to be continually getting better and better and better. Um, as a as a person that's been in the in who I you know we use the word save who I've been saved for so many years. I, um, you know I got baptized um, young. I think I was I was um, twelve years old. When I got baptized, I, when I got baptized, I got baptized when I was 12. That was a long time ago. You know, if you know how old I am now, but I've been baptized a long time. And throughout the process of life and walking this journey, I've had, um, and those of you can testify with, with your, whatever your life's journey has been about, you know, been there have been some, uh, um, rocky road. There have been some situations. There have been some circumstances in, in going through. But I can tell you the way I handle things as a young saint or as a young Christian is a whole lot different than the way I handle things now. Because I've grown in God. I've I've come to know him a lot better. I've come to trust him a lot better. I've come to know the word of God much better. And that's the way it should be. I should not, and you should not be, and none of us who are in this walk, as we progress through that our whole, th everything we should, that we should be growing. Amen, somebody. We should be growing in, in, in the Lord. Um, and this is part of the reason why for this series that we we're saying the benefit of study and knowing the truth, that our whole process should be that we are growing. You know, and when you're a young Christian, the way you handle things and, and, and when stuff happens, you know, we may lose it and we may, you know, whatever, you know, because we're young and we don't know the word and we just things happen. That's the way we handle it. That's the way, you know, early on. But as we get to know God and see that how he has been with us, he brings us through one thing. And we bring us through another. You know what I'm saying? How how he answered our prayer. How he's always, you know, stuff sometimes when we've had our back against the wall. Glory to God. And we know that God showed up. Hallelujah. You know that it was nobody but God. You remember those prayers we prayed to Lord, if you get me through this. Lord, if you bring me out of this. And Lord, if you just, and you see God just show up. And, and we just know that this, this is the God in whom we serve. This is our right now God. Hallelujah, somebody. And, and, and it's been, he's a God of mercy. He's a God of grace. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's a God of mercy and he's a God. God of grace. Hallelujah. He's a God of not only a first chance, a second chance, a third chance. He's a God. He's given us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We've had a, a, a lot. And so we've grown over the period of time. Hallelujah. At least we should grow. And God would like us to grow. God bless you, my friend, Sister Kelly. I was talking about you today. Hallelujah. I was talking about you. I had a radio interview over there in Tallahassee. And I and I had you. I called your name out. I think it was 95.3. I called your name out, Sister Kelly. I say, you know, somebody was asking about um, there being a reunion of the West Florida Recording Choir. I say, I say, I say, that's Sister Kelly position right there. I just had to deviate y'all had to mention that. Hallelujah. But um I want to I want to 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 tell you that the way we've come through some things, the way God has brought us through some things. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The way he's done that, you know, that should be our fire to 
keep us, you know, uh, uh, keep us warm and, and keep us on fire for him, knowing that, hallelujah, even though uh, 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 we're in a whole different situation, a whole different circumstance, we, we are growing. Hallelujah. Our whole process should be about, uh, 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 you know, it's, it's like you do with regular school, matriculating. Hallelujah. Going from one stage to another, but getting better and more wiser in every situation, in every circumstance that did you see the wisdom of God working in you. Hallelujah. That's why this two times before we were talking about wisdom and now we're talking about uh, vision. And so when we talk about this thing about vision and, 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 and this is why Jesus in this eighth chapter of St. Mark, when he on last that we talked about on last week, he was saying, don't you, you know, you got eyes, but you can't see. You got eyes, but you can't see your perception is off your you. The way you looking at this thing is not the way you need to be looking at it. Now, you know, when we talk about, like I said, we can, when we talk about vision, there's some, there's a part of vision when we talk about the image of your mind and, 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 and we'll talk about that part of vision. But right now I'm talking about the, the seeing things in the way that God wants us to see them, seeing things in the way that, 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 uh, uh, uh goes along with our growth in him and see one of the things that um, as we looked at this eighth chapter of Mark, one of the things Jesus was saying, you were with me when I, we fed the 5,000. But if that wasn't good enough for you, you were with me when we fed the 4,000. Haven't you learned anything yet? And see, this is how it is with us as growing, uh, uh, matriculating Christians. Praise God is moving forward and growing up in him maturing in him this is part of the thing when we sit there and, and and knowing that we are to understand that how we move in the lord how he moves in us and how we watch him move past edwards god bless you glory, man glory, of god glory, good glory to, to see god. you thank god for you hallelujah, amen amen hallelujah we thank god for past edwards amen 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 amen, 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 amen. So, Pastor, we're talking about vision as we were last week, and we're moving on. And 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 I'm just doing a summation from last uh, week, and I'm bringing them up to this week. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, what? So, what Jesus was specifically saying, there should be some growth. When they, when Jesus first called his disciples, he knew he called them from a certain point. You know, called them off the fish boat, called them from the the tax collectors called them from this, from different walks. He called them in. And so, uh, 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 they would know all about everything at that, you know, just in the early part. But then when, when, when it comes to now you walk, you've walked with me for a while. Come on, somebody. Come on, pastor. You walk with me for a while. You've seen me heal somebody. You've seen me do some things. You've seen me work in some things. You know what I'm saying? So some of these questions and arguments and, and, and doubt that you previously had, you should not be having now. Because you've been with me. Amen. You've been with me. And, and the way you see me and the vision you have uh, uh, in, in this should be wholly altogether different. How you see things should not be how you, 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 the, you, the Christian in your family. And so the way you view a situation may be totally different than, than the one who don't know God. Praise God. Praise because God. you, we're not like some who have no hope. We're not, we're, we're not that. We're not that one. We're not like some who have no hope. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. We're not like that. Because we know of whom we serve. We know who we are. Whose we are. Praise God. Praise God. Praise him. Praise him. Pastor, go ahead and you can give greetings. Hallelujah. Before I get too carried away. Amen. Because I'm going somewhere here. Amen. Amen. Well, I'll come in and just jump in on, on where you are, and we thank God for you, and we thank God for the ones that's tuning in today. But uh, <clears throat> God is such a good God, and and He put things in place for us. He's 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 uh, 
he strategically thinks far ahead. He, he 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 know how to plan. He know how to deal with things. He know how to deal with everything that comes up in life. Glory to God. And I, I and, and I thank God that he knows about it beforehand. Praise and God. We thank God for it. And and you know when 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 we deal with vision and and how to see things and how Ooh. to to deal with with life. Sometimes you could be right there in it, but don't see it. Ooh. Not the way God wants us you know to You know how see some it. people say you can't see the forest for the trees. Mm. You know, so so the thing is that you're there you're there with things going on. Mm. And then you don't want to trust God. I mean, you just just think about the ones that 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 seen the 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 uh I, I remind you, the ones that seen the, the waters part. And they walking across on, on, on dry land and walls of water on both sides of them. And and and, and then they're gonna doubt God for a drink? Oh my goodness. My God. Hallelujah. My God. Glory to God. My God. My God. My God. If God delivered you yesterday, he could deliver you today. If God delivered you years ago, he can deliver you today. Hallelujah. Because God is is is, is, is he don't diminish. Hallelujah. He has no equal. He has no rival. But God is God. He's all-powerful, almighty, all-knowing. And we thank God for, for as how we see God and how we see ourselves makes a difference. Makes oh, a glory difference. To, glory to God. Glory to God. And, and, and Pastor, was, this, this is the whole thing we're talking about, growth. You know, understanding and growing that we're not in the same position, the same place we were. You know, just, you know, every, literally, we are to grow. Grow, 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 grow. We're not to be having those temper tantrums. You know how it is when, you know, you're raising up your children. You know, there's a certain way you look for your kids. The two-year-olds, you know how the two-year-olds, the one, the two, and the three-year-olds, we know how they act. But if you got your 11 and 12 and 13-year-old acting like your one, two, and three-year-old, that's a whole problem. Amen. Because you fully expect them to mature and grow. And when they get 17, 18, and 19, there's a whole nother kind of way. And when they get through in, in each 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 area, each level, each it brings on maturity in the way you deal with things. That's right. And that's the same way in the spirit world and in the in the spiritual walk that we got. You know, the same way, you know, that we once dealt with certain things. How we dealt with when we got in an issue or in trouble or in, in whatever. There came there comes a time when we know what wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me wait a minute. the first thing I learned to do now, a long time ago, I may have uh, 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 you know, just went off the deep end. But now I know I can go to God in prayer. I sung it enough. I sung it enough. I, I sung enough. Uh, I sung that enough. I, I sung that enough. I can go to God in prayer. I can go to what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. So so that thing got embedded into me that I understand. I even teach on it now where, you know what? That's a powerful weapon to be able to go to God in prayer. That's a powerful weapon to know that how to communicate with God in prayer. That is a tool that's within our arsenal that I've learned that, you know what, let's pray, let me pray about that thing. There's a certain thing I've learned as I've gone through and went through situations, circumstances, good times, bad times, whatever. I've learned the power of praise. Amen. I've certainly preached about it enough and I've certainly praised them enough and sung about it enough that now I know the power of praise. I know know what a good praise and worship song will do for you. I know what it means if you get, when you're feeling down because, you know, feelings, as pastors say so often, feelings come and go. So you can't lean on your feelings and you can't uh, 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 govern yourself because of how you feel about a thing. God bless you, Sister Lisa. Hallelujah. You can, we, can't, we can't lean on by God's how we uh, feel about a thing. Glory to God. What we've done now, we've learned that. You know what? I've learned. Uh, me, and my, me and my cousin Jan was talking the other day. We sung that song. I've learned how to lean and depend on Jesus. Amen. You know? 
And, and there's a part in there that says, I found out that if I trust him, I found out that if I trust him, and it's so interesting because now everybody has, you know, different ways and different things that they do now. You know, the new, the songs, you know, they, they change. But I remember they're still the, the same. I remember here, uh, Sister West sent me a song today called Jaira. You know what I'm saying? And the young kids were singing it. You know, they were doing it their way, but they were still saying the same thing. I got, there's no love like the one who loves me. There's no God like the one who loves me right now. He's my Jehovah Jireh. He's that one. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So however you get it and however you can get it to resonate and however you can get it to grow in you, however you, it'll make you see the way you need to see. Hallelujah. Not according to. The way it comes at you. And then that brings us to our scripture for today. Praise God. And, 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 and I know that's a whole 30 minute summation, but that's okay. That brings us to our scripture for today. We're still dealing with vision. And this is going with um, 2 Kings, the sixth chapter. About seeing things the way you need to see it. The vision. Having vision. There's two parts of this. The vision of being able to, you know, uh, there, there's a portion that without a vision, the people perishing and, and having vision and, and, and you, know, you know, that imagery of whatever. But right now I'm talking about perception. The way we perceive a thing. The way we see a thing. When, when, when Jesus, in that eighth chapter of Mark, when he asked the man, he laid hands on the man. He at first uh, spit in his eye. He said, well, how do you see? And he said, well, I see men as trees. I see them as walking around as trees. That's the way I see them. But Jesus knew, no, no, that's not the way you need to see. You need to see that that's not the way they are. It's not clear. It's not clear that you need to see clearly. You need to see what I'm saying. You don't need to misunderstand. <laughs> glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that brings us to tonight. We're still talking about the way God wants us to see. And the, through the eyes of what we should see in this study. And so we're at the sixth chapter of, of 2 Kings, starting with verse 8. I'm reading from the New Living Translation, Pastor Edwards. And it says, when King of Aram was at war with Israel, he would confer with his officers and say, we will mobilize our forces at such and such a place. I'm reading a uh, New living translation okay but immediately Elisha the man of God would warn the king of Israel do not go near the place for the Aram Aramines are planning to mobilize their troops there so the king of Israel would send word to the place indicated by the man of God time and time and time again Elisha warned the king so that he would be on alert there the king of Aram became very upset over this. He called his officers together and demanded, which of you is a traitor who has been informing the king of, my, of Israel of my plans? And then in verse 12, I just love this verse 12. It says, it's not us, O king, <laughs> uh, 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 O Lord, my king, my king, Lord. One of the officers replied, Elisha, the prophet in Israel, tells the king of Israel even the words you speak in the privacy of your bedroom. I tell you, you can't hide from God. <laughs> you, we have a God that, you know what I'm saying? If it's necessary, God is everywhere. Hallelujah. Amen. God is everywhere. And you talking about want to plan a strategy and you need a strategy plan and you want to seek God. Hallelujah. Seek the wisdom of God. Seek God out. Hallelujah. Seek the mouth of God. Hallelujah. Get him to speak to your heart as to what, because see, God already knows. Hallelujah. I, I heard my husband say one time, you know, have him confound the plans of the wicked. Hallelujah. Those that would be in, 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 in uh, con, uh, uh, con, uh, contrived, you know, conniving and conspiring against. Hallelujah. He can confound them. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord. Praise and so he so in this particular I love this. He said, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's no traitor among us, King. What it is is that God is speaking to the, the, the giving him his strategy. The man of God, his speaker who speaks for God, is giving him his strategy. Hallelujah. And right now, God himself speaks to you. Hallelujah. He can speak to your heart. 
Hallelujah. He can speak to your situation. He can speak to those circumstances. Hallelujah. God can. But see, when you go to God, glory to God. Glory. Glory to God. He knows the end from the beginning. He knows that he's the first, the last, and everything in between. Then we're talking about the God that we serve. Come on, Pastor Ed. Let's go over to God. Amen. Don't you know? Don't you know? And did, you, did, you, did you see that you want to? Before I go on, did you want to say anything about that before I go on? Hallelujah. Because I want to go on just a little further. Hallelujah. We just thank God. We thank God for, for this opportunity. And, and, and also, <clears throat> when God is for you, when God is for you, and you are for God, uh, things just don't slip up on you. Glory to God. Listen to what I'm telling you. Things just don't slip up on you. And and when you're in a time of battle or a time of war, things will, 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 God will let you know when you are in the right frame of mind, the right state, the right status with God. Oh, and, and, I, and I thank God for, 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 for um, these times when the, the children of Israel was was in war and people were trying to come against them and, and how God protect them, especially those times when, when, when anyone got close to the children of Israel or, any, or the children of Israel lost a battle, then because they have the sin in the camp. And, and, and I thank God that, that, that as, as we focus on God and, and, and as I come in for these Bible studies, uh, 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 I don't know what we're even talking about till I get here. Or, 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 when, or, or when I listen to the, 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 the comments when they open up the, my, my lovely wife op open up the service. So, uh, you know, when, when, when we get here, then I listen and I, and I help under, and I understand what's, what's going on. Because, see, the Bible is true. And the Word of God is true. Regardless of what you may think or how we may feel about it, the Word of God is true. And, 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 and I thank God for... for um, uh, how he would take care. The same way he took care of Israel, he take care of the black man, the white man, the red man, the all colors of people. The, when you're with God now, I'm not talking about you shady and, 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 and you not doing what you need to do, but I'm talking about when you're with God, God will protect you. God will open up doors for you because, because God is for us. He God is for us. God is for us. Hallelujah. Don't regardless of what color you are, God is for you. Hallelujah. Don't, don't, don't get focused on who you are or, 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 which, or, 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 or uh, where you come from. Focus yourself on God. How do you do that? By studying, meditating on his word, praying. By doing the things that you that 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 you are big enough to do, that you're able to stand with, and God will stand with you. God will stand with you. And so we pick up here at the thirteenth verse, and He says, "Go and find out where He is." This is what the King of Aram says. He says, "So I can send troops and seize him." He wanted to lay hold on Elisha, and the report came back: Elisha is at Dothan. Okay. You know, not Dothan, Alabama. There was a place called Dothan. Dothan is very prevalent in this here Old Testament. We talked about, Pastor was talking about Joseph. He talked about Dothan, okay? And so one night, the king of Aram sent a great army with many chariots and horses to surround the city, to surround the city where Elisha was. When the servant man of the man of God, Gehazi, Got, got up early the next morning and went outside. There were troops, horses, and chariots everywhere. Now listen, this is what the servant looked out to see. When he could see, all he could see was there were troops, there were horses, there were chariots. And, and he said, oh, sir, what will we do now? Now the panic has began to set in with the servant. See, that's the energy that was coming in from the one who wasn't mature. Come on now, from that, that servant is a representative of the one uh, in this story, a one who hadn't yet matured. And all he could see was the natural. All he could see, all that was coming at him from a natural perspective. He saw the troops. He saw the army. He saw the chariots. He saw the horses. And he saw them in opposition. And all oh, his mind began, the negativity began to swirl. And what we gonna do now? Amen. What we gonna, what 
what we're going to do, what we're going to do. Amen. And you know, and, and in the natural soul, many times when you, uh, 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 and, and, and we as people uh, uh, of God, a lot of times you, sometimes you will get a negative report. Sometimes we get into a negative situation. Sometimes there are things that are not so apropos that things begin to happen that don't feel so good and, 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 and we rather not have to go through. And then and it's easy if you just look at the at in the natural perspective, you will get like the servant in a panic state. What we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Pastor? What we gonna do? You know, we know what we was thinking about. Uh, uh, even when we got ready to purchase this uh, 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 a commercial property, when you know we did it, I can look at you and I say, "What we gonna do, Pastor? What Amen. we gonna do?" When we were going through a trial, uh, 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 some a uh, couple of years ago, um, that was uh, uh, that came and confronted us. I looked at my husband. What we gonna do, honey? Yeah, yeah, what yeah. we gonna do? Praise God! And you know what? And true to His form. And I can tell you this, cause I'm. He's my husband. Hallelujah! I've been with him over forty years. Hallelujah! And he's a man of God. I, I was in a lot of situations. I act like this little, this little. I was acting like this little servant here. What we gonna do? What we gonna do? What we gonna do? Don't know what we gonna do. Hallelujah! Seeing things in the natural, having that energy and bringing that energy to four. Amen. And I and I gotta say. I watched my husband stand as pastor of the church, as as pastor of his household. I mean, as the father and of a, and as a, a a husband in the home. Hallelujah! I watched him be faithful Amen. in his approach to all sorts of situations, all sorts of circumstances. He's been very consistent. That's right. Now, how he was Thank feeling you. on the inside, he didn't let me see it. He was acting all like, God got this. Trust God. God going to take care of it. Praise God. That's how Pastor. That's, that's, <laughs> was you faking Pastor? Well, after you. Was you faking Pastor? After you get to a certain <laughs> point. You faking Pastor? After you get to a certain point in the Lord. And you're seeing what God has done for you before. Ah, glory. That's glory what I'm doing. <laughs> when, when you understand how God delivered that's you. The that's the, the part. That's the part. That's the part. That's the part. Don't forget. Woo, thank you, Jesus. That's why. That's Woo, why he told you, Moses Jesus. to write it down. Hallelujah. So we can we can remind our children, our children's children. We can remind them where God, how God delivered you. Oh, hallelujah! If God delivered you in 1970, God delivered you in 2001. Woo, thank you, Jesus. God delivered you in 2021. Yes, sir. God delivered you in yes, 2022. Woo, Don't worry come about on it. Now. Have faith, faith in God. God. Woo. Hallelujah. Pastor, say this stuff, but I'm telling you, he lives it. Hallelujah. I'm a living witness. Hallelujah. Like I said, I'm acting like this here little servant. Amen. Coming, you know, what we going to do? What we going to do? What we going to do? Bringing that little negative energy. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sometimes pastor had to pray past me. You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Glory to God. But he said, and, 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 and a little bit just like what this here, Elisha, Elisha was saying right now in verse 16. He said, don't be afraid. That's right. Elisha told him. He said, for there are more on our side than on theirs. Amen. This is what the man of God is saying. Then Elisha prayed. And he said, oh, Lord, open his eyes and let him see. Amen. Amen. That's what I'm talking about, about vision for this particular study. Open, he said, oh Lord, open his eyes that he may see. See, the, 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 that servant thought he was already seeing what was going on. But truly, what he was seeing was the natural Glory to God. His eyes weren't open to the spiritual because that's a whole different kind of thing. Hallelujah. That's a whole different world. Hallelujah. When, when God brings that world to bear, I remember, hallelujah, when Jesus was in the garden and when that uh, 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 person came and cut off his ear. Right. And Peter wanted to come and begin to fight. He said, hold up, swallow up. Right now, I can call 12 legions of angels and they'll be here on the spot. That's I right. can do that right now. Man. Because the spirit world is 
what's real, if I, you can call it down when it's necessary. Glory to God. Glory to God. Somebody come out. Come on, let's praise God up in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's praise him up in here. Praise him up in here. Yes, yes, Glory yes, to God. Yes, let's yes, give yes, God yes. praise. Call it God be yes, praised. Yes, God yes. be praised. God be praised. Hallelujah. 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 And he said, open his eyes. Open, open them up. Open them up. Uh, uh, let him see. Glory to God. And then the Lord opened the young man's eyes. And see, I like what he put. The Lord opened the young man's eyes. It was important for you to know that this person was a young man. Hallelujah. Glory to God, Sister Kwan. This was a young, this was a young man. Hallelujah. That meant his his maturity level wasn't all together there yet. That's why I was telling y'all, you know, the way you come in a thing may be one way, but as you grow in God, as you get situated in God, as you get stronger in God, hallelujah, the way that you're going to be dealing with things is going to be a whole lot better. Amen. Hallelujah. The enemy may come to Amen. you with some kind of uh, 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 in, in the natural, in the natural natural, your natural eyes and the way you naturally start seeing a thing. Some of you are contending with some medical issues and the doctors come with some kind of crazy medical report and it's in, in, in the natural, it, it seems negative. That's right. But remember, we got we deal with more than our natural eyes. Some of you have been dealing with uh, financial issues. Some of you have been dealing with uh, family issues and, and varying different things that on the natural side of it. That's right. It looks foreboding. On the natural side of it, it looks uh, 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 overwhelming. On the natural side of it, you we, we feeling a little bit like the servant. What we gonna do? What we gonna do? But we're talking tonight about vision. We want to see things the way we need to see it in a, from a spiritual perspective. Amen. Glory to God. You're going to have people that come with a negative energy towards you because they all they can see is what they see. That's right. And so you have to put up a, 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 a standard of the word against that. Hallelujah. You can't because we can't learn how to call those things that be not as though they. What? Word. Word. Call Amen. those things that be not as though they were. Amen. It's a it's important. It's imperative. Hallelujah. That sometime when and because that the servant was only coming from the place of because he was young. He, he was young. Uh, that, you know. And sometimes when you're young. Uh, 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 you're a young Christian, you're young spiritually, and you're in a young, uh, uh, you haven't grown in the way. Sometimes you're going to see these things from a negative kind of way. That's right. You're going to see these things in a way that it seems greater than what they really are. But this thing about vision, when, 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 when the man of God said, open his eyes, open the young man, see. I, pardon me, those if that freeze. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Open, open. Open. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to and God. See, and Glory to God. And see, this this is the thing, is that how you see a thing. Woo, that's it. That's is it. It's based on your experience with Woo, God. This you, this this it. this young Ooh, man right ha down. have 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 not had the experience that Elisha had. Y'all need saying, to write that part down. How that. you see a thing is based on what, Pastor? Your experience. Your experience with God. With God. Yes. How you see a thing is based upon your experience with... Ooh, that's, that's, right. that's, that's a word for tonight. Now, Pastor, that's good. That's why, that's good. That's that's good. why we should always have our testimony. Oh, hallelujah. And sh tell people where God has brought you from. from hallelujah. And then you can tell stand on that. Tell them his and, goodness. And it, because... Ah, when you when when that ground is not shaken, glory when you can stand on what God says, Ooh, oh glory to God! Hallelujah. When you standing on that foundation, glory to God, that's unshakable, glory to God, hallelujah, hallelujah. That, that regardless Ooh, of what you, pandemic, what Ooh. storm come, what anything come, God is there for us. For, he's for us. Oh, he's for us. He's for us. You remember how we see a thing, classmate Deidre. How we see a thing. How we see a thing. The way we're looking at this thing. The way we, in, you know, we got to see things the way God would have us see it. Amen. You know, and Pastor, the way he put that, our experience with God. Our whole experience. And that's why I said in this process, we need to grow. We need right. growth. Hallelujah. The way we came in a thing, uh, you know, for those who, you know, you, you, now you, you serious.
experience. You took, you put your hand in the master's hand and you walk in this thing out. So the way you are now is not where you were a year ago. You've grown a little bit more and Amen. you keep growing day by day, strong and stronger. As the old, that song say, every round goes higher, higher and, and higher. higher. Every round goes higher and higher. And so when he says this and when he looked up, this is the young man. When the Lord opened his eyes, they say when he looked up. This is, for those who may have come on a little late, this is 2 Kings, the 6th chapter. We begin at we began at the 8th verse, and now we're down to the uh, 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 17th and 18th verse. He said when he looked up, he saw that the hillside around Elisha was filled with, listen to this, horses and chariots of fire. All right. I tell you, God will always take it up a notch. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Cause see, remember when the, what the what the other army had? They had horses and chariots. Hallelujah! Yes, they did. They had armed force, but then God took it one more step up. There was horses and chariots of fire. Hallelujah. He was fin to take it to where it needed to go. He there was no there's no army greater than the army armed forces of the Most High God. Hallelujah. There is no honey the armies of the true and living God. Huh? Those angel armies. Hallelujah! There is nothing greater than those angel armies that God have equipped. There's nothing greater than the word of God when he said, I am Jehovah Rapha. I am the God that healeth me. Me. He healeth me. He healeth you. He healeth you. I'm the, I'm the healing one. And, and, and as we've gone through some things, we've had to employ those healing scriptures. We've had to throw them out there. When we've had, we've gone through financial situations. We've had to throw out those. I, 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 God who supplies all my needs according to his riches and glory. The one that he's my shepherd and I shall not want. Those things that I see it the way God sees that I hallelujah that I am equipped huh? hallelujah I'm fit for the future I'm fit for what God had <laughs> glory 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 to God glory 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 somebody say amen somebody amen, say amen. Amen, amen this is what we're talking about about vision and when he looked Oh, when God opened his eyes that he could see things in the way that when the man of God said, listen, listen, open his eyes because there's more that be with us. Open, be, 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 be free to see, saints. Be free to see. Be free to have the vision of what God wants you to see. Be free to see it. Hallelujah. There's more that be with us. That's right. Than that be with them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's more God on your case when God is on the case. Listen, saints, when God is on the case, get, get, see it the way God sees it. Get the perception and the, the what God wants you to see. There's more that be, Pastor Edwards, Amen. did you hear me? Amen. There's Amen. more that be with us. Amen. Christ in you. Amen. It's a hope of glory. Amen. Hallelujah. It's not about what I physically can do. It's what I can do with Christ in me. Christ in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am strong in Christ. In him. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm strong in the Lord. That's who I'm strong in. I'm strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Somebody say his might. I'm strong in the power of his might. Amen. Saints of God, people of God all over the world. Amen. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. There's a Thank benefit of knowing how of study and knowing the truth. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God's word is the truth. And when you know the truth, your spiritual eyes are open to discern the devil's lies. Hallelujah. You better say that. Amen, amen. and amen, Sister Kelly. That's the truth. His might. Amen. That's right. His might. God's might. We are strong in him. And we can we can discern the, en the enemy's lies. We can discern, hallelujah, that you know what? I don't need to look at things this way. I'm going to see things in the way that God would have me to Hallelujah. see it. I take on the vision that God gives me. Hallelujah. That's a spiritual vision. Don't be like those disciples who they're sitting in the boat arguing over why they didn't buy bread when they right there with them was the bread of life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we won't be like that. We'll, be, we'll have the mindset and understand who's with us. That's right. We will see who's with us. We will see who's with us. Whatever you're going through. Know who's with you. Well, whatever you're going through, as say, God, open my eyes that I might see things the way you want me to see Amen. it. That I might be able to decree and declare that I may be able to stand upon your word. Hallelujah. We're talking about vision tonight. 
thank today, Lord Jesus. Oh, we thank God for our teacher today. We appreciate her. She's a wonderful and glorious teacher. We thank God for her and how God has blessed her. And we appreciate God. Uh, um, um, I'm gonna, I want you to do something for me. I want you to remember who God is. And remember God is for you. And pray for your children that their eyes be open to see how uh, they need to see out here. Because God is our protector. I don't care what color you are. God is our protector. Yeah, yeah. Don't trust in God. Don't trust in yourself, but trust in God. Trust in God. Don't trust in uh, uh, God of what law they make or whatever. They, you got to trust in God. Regardless of what vaccine that you have, trust in the Lord. Because God is your ultimate protection. Take, let the, when, when I used to walk out the door, my granddaddy, my grandmother that raised me, they would say, son, take the Lord with you now. Take him. Don't lead the Lord. Take him with you. Get him in that car with you. Take him with you. Yeah, oh, glory to God. And, yeah, I, and, and I thank you, God that I learned to, to, to do that. And, 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 and I thank God for my mother's prayers and, 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 and my grandparents' prayers. And I thank God for the, for the prayers of the righteous. Oh, because yes, when yes. you're praying for your children, hallelujah. when you're telling them to take the Lord with them, hallelujah, it's just a saying, but take him, take him. Because he's your ultimate protection. He's your ultimate and protection. And he's the one that he can open oh, the thank eyes. thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And keep and, 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 and help your, your children understand life. Oh, God, help you understand life. Yes. Help you understand your children. Help you understand how to deal with life. Yes, God. Oh, yes, because God. God is there for yes, us. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Trust in the Lord now. Learn to trust in him. Our glory to God. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We magnify you. Thank you, Lord, for how you bless us in every way, every aspect of our lives. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord, for how you're there with us and for us, God. You never I leave us nor God. forsake I us, God. God. Thank you, Lord, for how you're being Ooh, you. in our lives in every area, God. Every aspect of yes, our lives. Yes. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord. Thank but it's you. everything you've done that you do yes, for us yes. in the name of Jesus. For, Lord, we know that your power, your strength is with us. It's not how loud we talk. It's not how, 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 how loud we sing or, or how well we sing, but we have faith in you, God, because you did it before. You will do it now. You did it. You, 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 you are there for us. You never leave us nor forsake us. You want to be in our every decision that we make. Oh, God, we thank you. For it's how you touch us and bless us right now in the name of Jesus. Those that are tuning in now and those that will be tuning in later, God, touch them. Touch them. In the name of Jesus. Name of Help Jesus. them, Lord, quicken I'm their bodies, quicken their mind, quicken yes, their understanding. Yes, 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 oh, God, that, that, yes, you, yes, that, that they can yes, trust in you. you. Yes, God. Yes, God. Oh, Father, yes, we love yes, you. Yes, 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 we yes. praise you. Hallelujah. We magnify you. And, Lord, as we take this time now for to thank you for those that have given, those that have given electronically with, with cash app those that have have, have, have given uh, uh, by mail those that have given uh, by by uh, dropping it off thank and we you thank you Lord for how you blessed them in every way God thank you for giving them wisdom knowledge and understanding how to deal with the wealth of this world yes. in Jesus name we do pray amen amen and amen we thank you all so much. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Edwards. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you all again. Those of you, some of you all around the country, Sister Lisa, different ones, you remember us, amen. You drop us a little, a uh, little that, 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 that spending love for the church and ministry, financial gifts. We thank God for you, amen. You. We just appreciate because we know that thank a lot you. of you have obligations in other places, but you remember us, and we just want to thank you all for for that. May God richly bless you and keep you. You know, this is Mother's Day week. Amen. This is Mother's Day week, and so there's a lot that's going on. Hallelujah. Those of um, we, the, those who still have their mothers that they can honor physically, we thank you for just making sure you give them that call, give them that shout out. For those of us whose mothers may have gone on, hallelujah, but we, you know, still have those um, ones that are still playing mother in our life. We thank God for them, but for those of us who um, this is the 
week uh, back in 2015, my mother passed away. But you know what? God is still good. Amen. God is still doing great and mighty things. And, and we, we move forward, hallelujah, and thank her for the seeds that of love and seeds of things that she's planted in us, you know, that grows up. And we thank God for that. And I give a big shout out to all the mothers out there. God bless you, the auntie mothers, the sister mothers, the grandmother mothers, all the those who plain mothers, the mother mothers. We just thank God for you and your place as being a mother. We thank God for you. New mothers, old mothers, middle-aged mothers. We just thank God for you. Um, we want you to know that um, I also give a big shout out to Dr. Um, Addison, um, uh, Angela Addison for her Let's Talk. I'll be a guest on her program on Saturday um, on Let's Talk. You can go to her Facebook page and Angela Ezell Burson. Uh, we'll be, be there doing a Let's Talk with the mothers. Uh, so if you can join us on that day, I'll truly try to share it so that those who want to join in, they can join in and be with us on that day. Also, uh, Sunday, we have a very special day here at Artesian Christian Center where we're celebrating Mother's Pastor has opened the door for the mothers to be on parade that day. I will be the I will be speaking that day. We also have special presentation by Mother Dorothy Heppard. We have a special dance presentation um, by Sanaya. We have um, special, just a lot of special things. So those of you in the area, come on, join us at 302 Cason Street, Albany, Georgia. And also we'll be on our live um, broadcast as well. So be sure to um, join us on our live Facebook stream. If you can't be here in person, join us on our broadcast. So we'll be here. But if you're in the area, come on, join. But you must wear masks because we're still adhering to the different protocols. But we want you to be there with us. We're Hallelujah. looking for a wonderful, wonderful week the Lord Glory. say the same God bless you and keep you and remember I pray God that you open our eyes that we see the way that we should see hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. the way he wants us to Amen. see in Jesus name thank God Amen. for each and every one of you past that Amen. Amen. we we thank God for you and thank God for for my my wonderful sweet beautiful wife and the mother of all my children and we Praise thank God. God for her we thank God for 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 her. The, the, the special love that, that, that we have for one another. And we thank God for, for the, the, the things that he's done and he's doing for us. Keep this in mind. God is for us. Say, Lord, Lord we thank you. We thank you. For the victory. For the victory. Through our Lord and Savior. Through our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Victory over sin. Victory over sin. Victory over sickness. Victory over, sickness. Victory over anything, anything that's not, that's like, not you. like you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For forgiving, for forgiving me, me. For saving me. For saving me. For filling me with, with your, your Holy Spirit. Spirit. In Jesus', Jesus name, name, amen, amen, amen and amen. amen. God loves you. God loves you. you and especially, especially you. Especially you. Hallelujah. You. Yes. Have an awesome and wonderful week. And wonderful week. God bless Glory you. Glory to God. You. Hallelujah.